Our top news this week. At a launch event in Tokyo, Sigma announced new L-mount and Sony E-mount lenses. New announcements include the full-frame 35mm f1.2 prime, as well as the lightweight and compact 45mm f2.8 designed for Sony E-mount as well as L-mount cameras like the Panasonic S1 and S1R. Sigma also unveiled a new 14-24mm f2.8 ultra-wide angle zoom with full-frame support. At the event, Sigma also teased a new uncoated Cine Classic Art Prime Lens range for a more classic and vintage look. The new classic range is said to be based on the current 10 Sigma Cine Primes. At the Tokyo launch event, Sigma also announced the Sigma FP, a new ultra-compact pocketable full-frame mirrorless camera with a 24-megapixel backside-illuminated Bayer pattern sensor. The Sigma FP comes equipped with the Leica L-mount, which gives users plenty of options to adapt Canon EF and other types of lenses. The FP also features a custom heatsink to ensure optimum performance during periods of extended use. The camera offers a seamless transition between stills and video, with dedicated menus and displays for easy navigation, as well as a quick access stills to cinema mode switch. Recording options include 4K UHD at 24 frames per second in cinema DNG via an external recorder, as well as internal recording options in H.264. Pricing and availability are set to be revealed at a later date. Blackmagic Design has just released a couple of back-to-back -back new updates for DaVinci Resolve 16. Resolve 16 Beta 5 adds better support for AAF files, new support for editable video tracks on the Fairlight page, improved timeline renaming behavior, audio waveforms on subclips, and also more reliable quick sync options for H.264 and H.265 encoding on Windows laptops. DaVinci Resolve 16 Beta 6 was also released days ago with Mac support for the Fairlight console, improved dual display support, as well as improvements with transition levels in color managed projects and improved round trip workflows with Pro Tools. That's it for this week. We'll be back next week with more news in 90 seconds.